Have you noticed that you get easily distracted in school? And now you're asking, what is wrong with me? A condition known as ADHD or ADD is related to that. Did you know that about 2.5% of adults over the globe have ADHD? You should know that over 6 million US kids aged 2 to 17 have to live with ADHD. Studies have also proven that this disorder is more common in males than females. Now you're probably thinking, what is this disorder that seems to be common? ADHD, referred to as ADD, stands for Attention Deficit and Hyperactivity Disorders. It is a disorder that can make you often procrastinate, inattentive, forgetful, and easily distractible. As detailed in a National Institute of Mental Health report, teachers, parents, and even certain specialists may be unable to identify symptoms of this disorder. And that means that persons dealing with the problem may not be able to get the treatment they need. And going through life without treating ADHD may result in issues such as academic frustration. So how can you tell if the reason for your dilemma is indeed inattentive ADHD so you can get the treatment you need? You first want to remove it from your mind that you're stupid, lazy, or unwilling to work or learn. Even if it turns out you don't have ADHD, negatively labeling yourself does not help. And if the issue is ADHD, recognize that it is biological. Secondly, many people imagine the classic ADHD persona as overly energetic and disruptive. However, reports disclose that only 20 to 25% of individuals living with ADHD are under the hyperactive subtype. This brings us to the ADHD subtypes, which are inattentive ADHD, hyperactive impulsive ADHD, and the combined ADHD subtype. The combined ADHD subtype is when the individual is hyperactive, inattentive, and impulsive. Although symptoms of ADHD slightly differ from children to adults and men to women, we'll be looking at the main five signs of this disorder. Also, you can learn more about yourself in general here on Psych Me Up, so remember to click the subscribe button. Inability to organize. Do you find it hard to put your things in order? Is your room always messy? Disorganization generally makes people dealing with this disorder easily overwhelmed. If you find yourself always struggling to organize your things or to engage in a process productively, it might be due to ADHD. People generally lose or misplace things all of the time, but there's a problem if it happens more often than you care to admit. Inability to finish what you started. Maybe you've concluded that you're lazy for never completing your projects, or maybe you think you've not discovered what interests you. Well, it could also be that your brain is wired to stray from tasks. All too often your brain tends to tire very quickly. It would be counterproductive to term yourself unintelligent when you're faced with a biological challenge for which you would need treatment. Forgetfulness Everyone forgets things sometimes, but your case might be different if you can hardly remember the last time you remembered what your teacher said in class. A deficit in working memory is a common challenge for those with ADHD across all three subtypes. Retentive memory is a crucial skill that acts as your brain's computational space. Once this computational space is compromised, it becomes almost impossible for you to retain information, much less act on it. Distractibility So you were involved in an important meeting at the office and two minutes into it you find yourself daydreaming. People dealing with ADHD across all subtypes have this difficulty. Although it's predominant in the inattentive type, you find that you're so easily pulled away into thoughts that are unrelated to the task at hand. Drifting off is usually not the biggest problem with this. It's the panic and confusion that sets in when you return and struggle to catch up. You mustn't beat yourself up for the wrong reasons. Inability to adhere to directions or listen. You might not be dealing with a hearing problem if you notice that you struggle to listen or follow directions. If you notice a pattern, then it could be ADHD. The problem here is that it takes people who have the disorder long periods for their brains to digest information. If you find any of this true about you, know that willpower alone won't get you the results you want. Instead, you should consider seeing a specialist. To learn more about your psyche, meet me in the next video.